Hello everyone, I'm Jerry, and today we are in the uh, GMO enamel coating uh, test lab, and uh, you can have a look for the device here. Uh, many people ask, uh, what is uh, good enamel coating? Uh, today I want to introduce uh, GMO enamel coating uh, can meet the Australia uh, uh, 4692 four, uh, standard and uh, German standard and uh, Canada CSC standard as well as the uh, Germany thing 4753 uh, standard. Uh, there are um, the following uh, uh, indicators uh, for the uh, enamel coating quality. Uh, first is the uh, thickness. The thickness, every thickness is about uh, zero point. Uh, 25 millimeter, and the second is the acid acid resistance. Uh, it should be a grit, and uh, the third is the enamel uh, enamel sol sol solubility. And uh, you can have a look here. This is a device for test the solubility of the enamel. Uh, we will put a enamel sample in the uh, in this device, and uh, this is boiling water. After 42 days, in the we take out the enamel samples and weight. Uh, the weight. The enamel uh, weight loss should be low than 3.5 gram per square meters. But uh, GM samples, uh, the solubility is uh, low than 3 gram per square meter. It's uh, far far better than the standard. And uh, the third is the, uh, the the last is the adherence adherence performance of the enamel coating. Uh, now I want to show this test. This is a destructive test. Follow me, please. Uh, I put the sample here, and uh, the, the steel will hit the enamel coating. Oh. Now the enamel is still explored, so I wear the glass. It's okay, but if you do this test, you need to wear the glass. And uh, according to the uh, USA ASTM standard, uh, if the destructive area is very, very bright, uh, this uh, adhesion, uh, adhesion is not qualified. Uh, you can see GMO uh, enamel coating. Here is dark because the enamel coating is uh, combined with the steel perfectly. Okay, uh, for more information about the GMO uh, enamel, you can visit our website. Uh, www.gmhitech.com and contact us. Thank you. Thank you.